Macy's faces serious allegations in lawsuit involving Sean Diddy Combs. In a shocking turn of events, retail giant Macy's has found itself embroiled in a legal battle that has sent shockwaves through the entertainment and business worlds. A recently filed lawsuit accuses the department store chain of covering up a violent sexual assault allegedly perpetrated by hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs at its flagship Herald Square location in Manhattan back in 2008, 1. Hashtag, hashtag the lawsuit. The lawsuit, one of at least six federal suits filed against Combs in Manhattan on Monday, October 14, 2024, paints a disturbing picture of events that allegedly transpired within the walls of one of America's most iconic retail establishments. The 19-page legal document details a horrifying incident involving a man identified only as John Doe, who claims he was sexually assaulted by Combs while working in the stockroom of Macy's Herald Square store, 1. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag the plaintiff. The plaintiff, who now resides in Ohio, was an employee of Echo, a clothing company that competed with Combs' Sean John brand. Both brands were carried by Macy's at the time of the alleged incident. The lawsuit states that the plaintiff was going about his regular duties in the stockroom when his life took a terrifying turn, 1. Hashtag 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 the alleged assault. According to the legal filing, Combs entered the stockroom accompanied by three armed bodyguards. What happened next is described in chilling detail. The plaintiff alleges that one or more of the guards physically assaulted him, possibly pistol-whipping him, causing him to fall to his hands and knees. In a moment of sheer terror, the plaintiff claims that at least one of the bodyguards threatened to end his life, 1. The lawsuit goes on to describe how Combs allegedly demanded that the plaintiff perform oral sex on him, bizarrely referring to him by the name of the company he worked for, Hecko. What followed, according to the plaintiff, was a traumatic two-minute sexual assault during which Combs allegedly orally raped him, 1. Hashtag 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 the aftermath. In a surreal twist, the lawsuit claims that immediately following the alleged assault, Combs casually grabbed armfuls of Sean John merchandise from the stockroom. He then proceeded to the retail floor, where he began distributing the items to an adoring crowd, as if nothing had happened. 1. Hashtag hashtag Macy's alleged cover-up. Perhaps the most damning aspect of the lawsuit, as it pertains to Macy's, is the accusation that the retail giant actively worked to cover up the incident. The plaintiff states that he reported the assault to Macy's security on the same day it occurred. However, instead of receiving support or seeing any action taken, he claims he was soon barred from entering the store, 1. Hashtag 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 the multi-million dollar deal. The lawsuit alleges that approximately three weeks after the incident, Terry Lundgren, who was the CEO of Macy's at the time, pressured executives at Echo to terminate the plaintiff's employment. The reason given for this pressure, according to the legal document, was that Macy's had just signed a multi-million dollar deal with Sean John Clothing, 1. This allegation, if proven true, would suggest that Macy's prioritized its business interests over the well-being and safety of individuals working within its stores. It raises serious questions about corporate ethics and the lengths to which companies might go to protect lucrative partnerships. Hashtag 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 the consequences for the plaintiff. The repercussions for the plaintiff were severe. Not only was he allegedly fired from his job at Echo, but he was also informed that he could no longer reside in his company-paid apartment in the city. The lawsuit paints a picture of a man whose life was upended not just by the alleged assault, but by the subsequent actions of powerful corporations, 1. Hashtag hashtag the broader context. This lawsuit is not an isolated incident but part of a larger pattern of allegations against Sean Diddy Combs. The hip-hop mogul faces at least six federal lawsuits, all alleging various forms of sexual assault, 1. These allegations span decades and involve individuals from various walks of life, including a teenage boy and a security guard, too. Hashtag 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 other allegations against Combs. One of the other lawsuits filed on the same day alleges that Combs sexually assaulted a woman in a hotel room after a promotional event in 1995. The victim in this case claims that Combs violently struck her, slamming her head against a wall before proceeding to rape her. Chillingly, the lawsuit states that after the assault, Combs allegedly threatened the victim, saying, you better not tell anyone about this, or you will disappear, too. Another lawsuit involves allegations of assault at a party following the release of a Biggie Smalls music video. These multiple allegations paint a disturbing picture of a pattern of behavior that, if true, spans decades and involves numerous victims, too.
Hashtag hashtag the implications for Macy's. For Macy's, this lawsuit represents a significant crisis, both from a legal and public relations perspective. The allegations suggest not just a failure to protect individuals within their stores but an active attempt to cover up a serious crime to protect a business relationship. Hashtag 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 legal ramifications. If the allegations in the lawsuit are proven true, Macy's could face severe legal consequences. The company could be held liable for failing to provide a safe environment for individuals working within its stores. Moreover, if it's proven that Macy's actively worked to cover up the incident, the legal repercussions could be even more severe. Hashtag 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 reputational damage. Beyond the legal implications, Macy's faces significant reputational risk. In an era where consumers increasingly expect corporations to uphold high ethical standards, allegations of this nature could severely damage Macy's brand. The company may face boycotts, loss of partnerships, and a general erosion of public trust. Hashtag 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 financial impact. The potential financial impact on Macy's could be substantial. Beyond any damages that might be awarded if the lawsuit is successful, the company could face decreased sales as consumers react to the allegations. Additionally, the cost of managing this crisis, both in terms of legal fees and public relations efforts, could be significant. Hashtag hashtag the broader implications. This case raises important questions about corporate responsibility, the power dynamics in the entertainment industry, and the ways in which businesses might prioritize profits over people. Hashtag 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 corporate responsibility. The allegations against Macy's highlight the importance of corporate responsibility in ensuring safe environments for all individuals within their sphere of influence. Companies must prioritize the safety and well-being of employees, contractors, and customers over business relationships, no matter how lucrative they may be. Hashtag 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 power dynamics in the entertainment industry. The multiple lawsuits against Sean Diddy Combs underscore the ongoing issues of power imbalances and alleged abuses within the entertainment industry. These allegations add to a growing body of evidence suggesting that more needs to be done to protect vulnerable individuals in these environments. Hashtag 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 the balance between business and ethics. This case serves as a stark reminder of the challenges businesses face in balancing financial interests with ethical considerations. It raises questions about how far companies are willing to go to protect valuable partnerships and at what cost to individuals and society at large. Hashtag hashtag the response. As of the time of writing, Macy's has not responded to requests for comment on the allegations. 1. The company's silence on this matter is notable and may be interpreted in various ways by the public and media. Sean Diddy Combs, through his attorneys, has released a statement denying that he ever committed sexual assault. His legal team described the lawsuits as an attempt to garner publicity and expressed confidence in their legal defenses and the integrity of the judicial process. 1. Hashtag hashtag looking ahead. As this case moves forward, it will undoubtedly be closely watched by many. The outcome could have far-reaching implications for how corporations handle similar situations in the future and may lead to changes in policies and procedures across the retail and entertainment industries. For Macy's, navigating this crisis will require careful consideration and decisive action. The company will need to balance its legal strategy with the need to address public concerns and maintain trust with its customers and stakeholders. For the alleged victims, including the plaintiff in the Macy's case, these lawsuits represent a chance to seek justice for events that have profoundly impacted their lives. Their bravery in coming forward with these allegations, regardless of the outcome, may inspire others to speak out against abuse and misconduct. As this story continues to unfold, it serves as a sobering reminder of the importance of creating safe environments in all spheres of life, the need for accountability at all levels of society, and the ongoing struggle to balance business interests with ethical considerations and human dignity.